A huge quality of life update is coming to Xbox VRRs being utilized in Dying Light 2. What is the coalition working on with Unreal Engine 5? And could we see a GoldenEye 007 remaster announcement soon? Welcome back to another video, guys. If you enjoy daily content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So one of the best features by far with these next generation consoles is on the Xbox series consoles, and that is quick resume. When this first was announced, people were excited, but there was also a lot of skepticism that this was just going to be another kind of marketing thing. And one thing we can pretty much say now with a lot of the marketing terms that were used with the Xbox series X and S leading up to the launch is that they are actually great features that really improve the quality of life of using the Xbox series X and S. I absolutely love quick resume. I don't think I could ever go back to playing games on a console without it honestly it's that good it really is so quick popping into different games that you have played right where you left off and just super snappy with the ssd and everything like that but there have been issues with quicker zoom since the launch of the console sometimes it doesn't work sometimes games just randomly don't go into quick resume and it's kind of, it can be frustrating especially if you're expecting it to be there and then you go back onto your console and you have to reload the game and maybe lose where you were in that game and go back to the latest save but they are looking and they've always been looking at fixing it, updating and making it better. And there's already been improvements for quicker zoom, but we have one that is going to be coming now that I think is really great and going to be one of the best updates we've gotten on the Xbox Series X and S. So this was revealed by the Xbox engineering lead Eden Marie on Twitter for Xbox insiders in the alpha ring, which again will soon be able to test the ability to fully control what games remain in the quick resume state. So you're able to actually pin games like your quick resume bar this was a feature that was added on after the launch and see exactly what games are in quick resume you click here you can see the picture you can hit that pin button it says keep in quick resume and then you're going to be able to kind of select two games that are always going to be in that quick resume state in your pinned quick resume bar and then besides those two that you've selected to put into quick resume permanently there will still be the other ones that are going to be able to come in and utilize the feature so this is a great thing because i mean for a lot of people two games on the go is probably more than enough to have that quick resume state plus you're still going to be able to have the other ones popping in and out but if you have two main games that you're playing you want to make sure that they don't lose the state in quick resume you're going to be able to pin that there and hopefully without any glitches or anything be rest assured that if you turn off your console if you unplug your console move it to a different tv which is something that's super cool the quick resume state will still work for those games okay jumping over here to another one of the best features available on these consoles and that is vrr is currently available on the xbox series x and s and it's supposedly coming over to the playstation 5 we just don't know when we haven't really heard anything new about that but it's a great feature that allows you to play games without screen tearing and just super smooth up to 120 frames per second if you have a display that supports vrr now this has been applied to dying light 2 and this is a tweet here from clobril saying the vrr unlocked frame rate mode introduced today to the xbox series x version of dying light 2 is a true game changer varies between 80 to 110 frames per second feels a lot smoother than the standard 60 fps more game should embrace vrr and offer optional unlock frame rate modes so that's great because i mean vrr gets you that up to 120 frames per second in this case 80 to 110 frames per second but still more than the standard 60 that comes i guess with this game now there's three modes within dying light 2 in terms of the graphical settings but i hope to see more games have the optional unlock frame rate modes added to those games and support the vrr feature because i think it's just an easy way to give people who have these i guess more premium displays or these more expensive ones that support vr are just the best experience possible when playing these games sticking on here from another tweet from clobro we have information i think we've known about this for a while but it just goes further into the fact that the coalition is working on an unannounced project on unreal engine 5 and that this has been in development since at least september 2020 which means it could be gears or something else and in may 2021 they announced that they were working on multiple projects we see here kind of a posting of a gameplay producer and what they're doing and how they are working with unreal engine 5 with an unannounced project 
So there's a lot of speculation as to what this could be. People probably would think the first thing that comes to mind is Gear 6, but I think there's a lot of people out there that are hoping that they are working on another project. We have heard that there is a rumor that they are working on a new IP, but Gears is such an important franchise to Xbox and to Microsoft that they're gonna be really focusing on the Gears going forward gear six is something that i mean i would love to see them show this game off in the near future and see what they're doing with unreal engine 5 because we saw just the amazing work with that matrix demo and the coalition was involved with that and if you can just think about that plus how good gears 5 looked and the, how good the dlc looked then them using unreal engine 5 gear 6 is going to be an absolutely incredible showpiece for the xbox series x and s but yeah i'd also love to see what else the coalition can do like a new ip i think they could knock it out of the park and i think they're a great developer i mean they've shown that with gears and i have full faith that if they came out with a new ip it'd be something that people would be very excited for so i'm kind of on the fence i absolutely love gears of war it's in my top five franchises of all time a, a huge fan so i definitely love to see a gear six announcement sometime soon showing it off with like the unreal engine graphics and stuff and just wowing everybody but at the same time i'm very interested to see what they would be able to do if they released a new ip all right finally to end things off here we have more information about goldeneye 007 remaster so this is something that has a long history something people have wanted it was actually created we saw some youtube videos of the remaster created and that it had to be pulled back and stopped because of licensing issues and all that crap but we are hearing here from Jeff Grubb that it may be on its way. Now, here's what he says. I think that Microsoft is going to be the one to announce that first. I think this game is probably coming pretty soon. I think next couple of weeks. Now, it would make sense that Microsoft would announce it because Rare is an Xbox game studio and they developed GoldenEye 007, so that makes complete sense. But you have to work in Nintendo, MGM and Microsoft all to come to some sort of licensing legal agreement for this game to be re-released and remastered, maybe remade, who knows, for them to make an announcement and then put it out there. Some of the theories that are going around that, hey, this is gonna happen because Nintendo now wants to put GoldenEye out with their Nintendo Online. Right now they're putting out like N64 games and adding GoldenEye into that mix would be a plus for them and a good business move for them. So. They'll agree to do that and then I guess agree that Microsoft and Rare are going to be able to put out the remastered version of this game. Now what else kind of makes this more believable that this will happen is when I mean the game was already pretty much remastered for the Xbox 360 until it got canned and we saw the achievement list. I mean this is an achievement list that came out on True Achievements and it literally is showing this game and it looks like it relates to the remastered version because the achievements are exactly what the original game areas would be like it's nothing no remake nothing new so it could happen i would be interesting to see it happen i think goldeneye with a remake or remaster would be something that i would play through and just for the nostalgia factor of it but they would really have to improve the controls on it and what we saw from the actual remaster youtube video that got put out was this and i mean it looked pretty neat it looked like it was upgraded it was something that would make the game more enjoyable overall and they just fixed the controls they have the dual analog sticks in there it would be an experience that would be significantly better than playing on the n64 because that game on the n64 when it first came out tons of nostalgia i mean i played it all the time with my friends but if you go back and try to play that thing now it's just not a very good game so we definitely need a big update anyways guys that's it for me are you excited for this quick resume update thoughts on vrr thoughts on goldeneye as well as your thoughts on the coalition and what they are potentially working on next with unreal engine 5 if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that thumbs up button you're new here you like what you saw throughout this video appreciate you hitting that subscribe button and help this channel grow thank you all for watching thank you for your support i'll catch you in the next video